What's up guys, Nick here, and yes, I'm still alive, um, I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but um, I'm finally back, or at least for a video here, um, but I gotta say it's been one of the busiest like six months of my life, honestly, so that's why I haven't really been posting much, but um, decided why not uh, come back with uh, the brand new characters in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, which is Pyra and Mithra, which is really cool. Um, if you guys don't know, I'm a pretty big uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 fan, or Xenoblade Chronicles in general, honestly. And um, yeah, I'm really happy for uh, Pyra and Mithra coming in. And, you know, I didn't really... Uh, not to be mad or anything, but I didn't really care about the other fighters. In fact, you'll even see that I haven't even bought in them or bought them because I don't know, not really my choices, I guess. Um, but let's just hop right into it with some classic mode. Um, but yeah, you can see I didn't buy Min Min. I didn't buy uh, who else got in Steve. Sephiroth. I was thinking about Sephiroth, but I was like, uh, I didn't really feel like it. Um, oh, you can click them to see, or to start off with them. That's cool. Uh, so we got different characters or different uh, palette swaps. We got Numa uh, swapping their colors. Uh, I forget which this one was. Is this the gold? No. I forget what that one was. This is like their evil version. Don't really get the purpose of that, but okay. Cause that's not even from the game. <laughs> but yeah, this one kind of looks like um, Rex's uh, Master Driver form. This is still not really a reference. And then you have a gold and platinum or silver one, which honestly, I feel like they should have like done them based off of other driver and blades like. Nia and Dromark, or like, um, well, I guess they're not Driver and Blades, they're both Blades, but like, they should have based them off of other Blades, like Pandoria, or, um, what's her name, Bridget, but they kind of just went with whatever, honestly. I mean, I'm not mad at them, they're pretty cool looking, but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with them, of how they turned out both uh, gameplay wise and um, kind of reference wise as well. The new music, the new stage, honestly everything is kind of what I hope for. Uh, but it has been a while since I've played this game. So uh, yeah, wow that up tilt is really fast. Although it doesn't really do much damage, but yeah. So yeah, Mithra, she, um, is the one who deals a lot of damage and is really fast while uh, Pyro over here does a lot of uh, knockback and has a lot of stronger attacks. Oh, they're gonna thought the Cocos were attacking me. I was like, no way, <laughs> not in my game. But yeah, they seem a lot like a lot of fun. I'm already having a lot of fun with them right now. But uh, yeah, I haven't been playing um, Smash in a while. I have been getting into melee because the online's actually good. I know, surprising. Because uh, Nintendo doesn't make um, good online. They never have, and they probably never will. Um, I think even they said like uh, they're doing, or they they're running on like Windows 98 or something like that Wi-Fi, which is just terrible. Um, but yeah, I haven't bought a Nintendo Online since two years ago, so yeah, Nintendo Online, definitely a meme, and a bad meme in fact, uh, but that moves pretty good. It definitely, it doesn't KO as soon as I thought, but it's still pretty good. But damn, oh my god, these guys might be my new main, and I might actually play Super Smash Brothers for the Nintendo Switch. Again. 
Um, but yeah, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I guess I might as well just kind of recap of what I've been doing. Um, been busy with school and work and all that fun stuff. Um, I have been playing a lot of video games on my own time. Um, I've been a lot of games, but, uh, yeah, I might actually do some reviews on them because I definitely enjoyed a lot of them. Um, I played this game called 13 Sentinels, which not many people know about, but it's actually a really good game. Um, and I really enjoy it, or I really enjoyed it. Um, one of my top 10 video games of all time. And maybe I'll do a review of it because it's really damn good. Uh, what else have I been doing? I've been modding too. I think I already told this like my last video, but I homebrewed my 3DS. So I've been playing a lot of 3DS games I didn't buy. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. Uh, Yeah, I mean, I've been mainly been busy with work and school, honestly. So that's the main reason why I haven't been making videos. But I mean, it's also the fact that like up until like February, when this when the direct of Pyramither came out, I'm gonna say it. Uh, I'm not really a big Nintendo fan um, over this quarantine. Uh, Nintendo really hasn't made any games. Um, I don't really like what Nintendo's doing, like what they did with uh, the tournaments and stuff, and with Splatoon and Melee. Uh, Nintendo's kind of just being stupid, honestly. Uh, even their direct, like, although I really liked seeing like Pyra and Mithrin being in the in this game here. Um, other than that, there was Splatoon 3, which was really cool, but they really got nothing for this year. I mean, I like, I like No More Heroes 3, but that's not really Nintendo, that's Suda 51. Um, but I've got to say, like, Nintendo doesn't really have anything for this year. They didn't have anything for last year. Like, I'm kind of questioning, does Nintendo make games anymore? Like, hello? So, it's just like, stupid things like that, where I'm just like, what am I supposed to play slash do? I'm supposed to be Nintendo Nick. Yeah, if Nintendo doesn't make any content, I can't make any content. And I guess that's just the mentality that I'm having. But, um, I might do some reviews, like I said before, of games that are not Nintendo, because... I can't do any Nintendo reviews because Nintendo doesn't make games. It's kind of sad. Um, although I do, it does look like the uh, new Mario Golf game looks kind of cool. Not really a big fan of Mario Golf, but it does look pretty cool. I'll admit that. Oh, I didn't even realize it was an HP match. <laughs> I was wondering, like, why are these guys not dying? Like, I was like, wasn't his, her dash attack supposed to be really good? And it is really good, but it's an HP match, and that's why it's not killing. But yeah, I should have done a reaction to um, the uh, Nintendo Direct, and I actually did with my friend Steve. And a couple of my other friends. Um, he actually has the audio for the uh, our reactions. Um, I don't know if he's going to post it or not. I think he's still editing it, maybe. I don't really know. But um, if he does, I'll probably link it or something. Because my reaction to Pyra Mithra coming in was pretty intense. I was like yelling and screaming because honestly, the only two characters I wanted were um where is xenoblade chronicles 2 character or uh travis touchdown and travis got deconfirmed with the me costume and i was kind of losing hope with pyra mithra because 
there were a spirit and Rex was a me fighter costume, but they surprised us. And honestly, with Pyra and Mithra in the game, it means now that um, that spirits can become a fighter because Pyra and Mithra were both spirits in the game and now they're a character, which is crazy. This up tilt's disgusting, by the way. And her up B is pretty good too. Both Pyra and Mithra's up B is really good. Like, I feel like her, uh, Pyra's up B might be, uh, oh yeah, also down tilt is also really good. Um, but yeah, I feel like Pyra's, uh, up B is probably the best kill move they have because it's pretty safe. And if you hit the first hit, I think the second hit is almost a guarantee. Because the tower, like, of fire, and I think it hits on the pretty well on the sides too, as well. But yeah, really, honestly, such a good character. Such a good character. Look at that, like, and she even has a projectile too. With her sword, just being able to go out with that. Look at that. Prominous Revoke. I haven't done a neutral B, but I don't think I don't think both Pyra and Mithra's neutral B is that good. Like Oh, I can use it in the air. That's actually not bad. So I can charge it in the air and then release it on the ground. So that's actually not bad. I kinda like that. Yeah, it looks like her up B definitely is. Um Definitely is good. I don't know about their grabs though. Like that's probably the only bad thing is that I don't think their grabs do much damage. They don't kill. And I don't think they combo into anything. I might be wrong about the combo part. But I mean most sword fighters don't have powerful grabs. So yeah. Um, also I'm not pointing out the references. I actually don't know what some of these references even are. I'm guessing actually... Yeah, I don't even know what Dark Link and Link were supposed to represent. Like, I know that the Dark Pit, uh, Dark Pit, Zero Suit, and, uh, Link were supposed to be Akos, Petroka, and, uh, Mikhail. But I don't know about these other references. And I should, because Xenoblade 2, I... I have over, oh, I think, 200 hours in, which is crazy. But I absolutely love this that game. And again, I'm so happy that they're in this game. People are like, oh, waste of a slot. Definitely not. Like, even if you don't play their games, like, they seem like such a fun character. Like, even if you don't like anime or you don't like fucking... Xenoblade 2 or RPGs. I feel like you'll like the character at the very least. But yeah, I feel like though, um, apparently Min Min's the best DLC character though. People are saying like, or at least people in Japan are saying that Min Min is the best, uh, The best, uh, what's it called, character. The best character in the game. That freezes me, okay. And yeah, I'm also, uh... The other reason I haven't been recording is because, uh... Most of the games I want to play... Or games I kind of want to play without commentating games I want to play... To hear the music and stuff. Like Smash Bros not so much because I can replay the music and I can replay the the music's kind of repetitive a bit. But um in terms of like games with like story or um have cutscenes and stuff that I wanna like listen to, I feel like it's better to just play them. Uh, without having to commentate and stuff like that. Same thing with rhythm games as well. As um, I also got a uh, Oculus Quest 2. 
uh, for Christmas, which I've been playing a lot, and that's a lot of fun. I might do videos on those, but most of the games that I have are rhythm games, so it's hard to commentate, but I could just show the gameplay if you guys are interested in that. Um, I also haven't been recording because I don't, I'm not really happy with the, uh, like, recording situation I have where I have to record my audio and gameplay separately instead of synced. So my gameplay and audio will sometimes be not synced as well as my, um, microphone that I use for my computer to record is, um, what's it called? Uh, it's very like sensitive. So you guys might even hear like, uh, background noise or me clicking my buttons or like the doubling of the, um, the game volume because my, uh, microphone is that sensitive, but I did download crisp, which is a, uh, I don't think it's, I guess it's a mod. Is it really a mod? It modifies my, uh, microphone to try and cut out background, background noise. And it seems like it's working pretty well. Although I only get 120 minutes per week, I think it is, which isn't bad because I don't think I'm going to go over 120 minutes per week. Cause I think I'm just going to record maybe a video a week or whenever I feel like it, honestly, but, um, yeah. But honestly, this summer I might be able to play some games and I probably will play, uh, no more heroes three and maybe even uh what's it called as well um i also really like uh no more or not no more here uh the ones with you neo which is also coming out summer 2020 or 2021 so that's pretty cool yeah wow okay so yeah pyra is pretty slow yeah wow and then like, like this, you can like, even from a casual perspective, you can just see how much faster Mithra is to Pyra. Look at that, boom, boom. Yeah, I, so yeah, her up B, or her uh, down tilt, that looks like it combos into a lot of things. And then she can like Mario up tilt, it seems like, or at least twice, and I can go up air. Then up B, boom. Up B to the ledge, apparently, is also really good. If I do that, boom. It's shot. Oh, that actually is so good. So I guess that is technically a combo, like... Actually, not really, but <laughs> depends on the recovery. But most of the time, I can just go like that and... Catch the recovery. Yeah, and then Pyra, her side B looks like it might be one of her best moves. So I can just go like this. Wait. I can, like, two-frame them. If I can do it correctly. It's got to be, like, center stage, honestly, to do it. But, yeah, I feel like Pyra's best move is her side B. And then Mithra's best move... Other than her passive of um, foresight, I feel like might be her down tilt because it just because of combo potential. But up tilt's pretty fast too. Like I, I gotta see her side B as well because her side B seems pretty good too. Also, I want to see the spirits because wait, it's not spirit board. It's been a long time, uh, <laughs> but it's not spirit board. It's Oh, extra spirits or something? I oh, had yeah, DLC spirits. Wow. Wow. Oh, you actually... That's cool. Okay. Even though I didn't buy... The, um... Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, Nintendo just wants us to consume product. I'm not going to consume product. They're like, oh, if you want to access this spirit board, you gotta... You gotta pay the price. No, I'm not paying. 
Wow, I already cleared these. Oh yeah, so yeah, these are the characters that were or the spirits that were already in. I think Poppy Alpha is also in. I guess I never got her. Oh, okay, so this is the official art of Numa. I'll see if I can beat Numa. Cause I feel like I can. How do I oh, yeah, auto pick? Franklin badge. I feel like this is good. I'm just gonna go with whatever. Honestly. Got Hero Pun Ricky versus Numa, honestly. Ready? Go! I have to fight both of them. There's an HP match. Oh, okay. We got another Shulk. I didn't realize that. Wait, don't I have Franklin badge? Why the hell is Blazing Edge hitting me? I just go shield, so that the HP doesn't hurt me. Or I don't get lose as much HP. So yeah, Dunbin Shulk is supposed to be... Had, wow, that has a lot of range. Um, Dunbin Shulk is supposed to be Rex. And then Mithra is supposed to be Numa. I didn't mean to go Buster, but okay. Damn, she used Foresight. There we go. Wait, did I get both of them? No, I just got Rex. Alright, well, Rex is dead. Yeah, um, you're actually supposed to be dead too. By uh, the logic of Xenoblade 2, if a driver dies, um, so does the blade. Oh my god, I'm dead. Why should she go metal shift? That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. No, I didn't mean to go buster. Shield. Fuck. <laughs> Welp. I'm gonna blame that one on, uh... Malos? No. <laughs> Well, that's actually cool that they finally have art for Numa, but it's also really stupid though, because, like, why can't we have a Smash game without Xenoblade spoilers? Like, come on. Like, Numa's a spoiler, and so is the Master Form of Rex, which apparently you can get with, um, what's it called? By leveling him up or leveling his spirit up. Alright, Rex is actually like almost dead, which is good. And I'm kind of glad that Rex didn't get in. Honestly, my hopes were either Jin or Malos to get in because we need more villains. Although Sephiroth got in, so then I was like, our chances are lower. Or his chances are lower. Um, so then I was like, all right, I don't want Rex. And I'm like, all right, well, Rex seems like he's deconfirmed anyway because he's a me fighter costume. And, you know, I mean, he, he's still technically in the game because he's in Pyra Mithra's taunts as well as their victory animation. So he's still technically in the game. But, uh, why did it keep getting, why did it teabagging me? You know what, I'm just gonna time you out. There's no time limit. Oh, does your final smash not go away? Like, what is this CPU doing? I can literally time you out. Yeah, try, try and catch me. Yeah, get over here. Yo, why is he get sudden final smash again? Can I get my final smash? Damn. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, well, I think that's over now. Alright, 
Alright, well this isn't too bad because this is actually used for KOs, not for damage. And I'm on shield anyway, so well, not anymore, but Okay. Okay, really? Another final smash. Okay, you know what? Noom was overpowered. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't played I really want to get back into Smash Ultimate, but like again, like I said. This thing right here doesn't work. I'm sorry to say, but it doesn't. Um, playing against CPUs is pretty fun because it doesn't have as much input lag. Apparently, there's still input lag from the game itself, but then there's also more input lag with uh, online. There's also no rollback, which sucks. But uh, that's not a problem with um, Slippy, which is the um, melee. Uh, Wi-Fi. So, yeah. Yo, there we go, Rex. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Alright, her neutral B actually isn't doesn't take that much of a charge as I thought it would. <laughs> like I said before, Blazing Edge, that's just so overpowered. Look at that. What can Ganondorf do? What like what could he actually do? He has no options. He has no options. I win. Like <laughs> it's such a good move. And then I can act out of it too, so I can shield and I can do other stuff. While Ganondorf is just screwed. Bone Town Edge, another good move. And I can, okay, wow. I can just act out of that. And then also use the recovery, which is insane. Whoa, 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 why did that suck me in so much? That was like a super vacuum, what the hell? They increase his vacuum. <laughs> like, I know that there's some changes with the 11.0. Uh, but, uh, I don't think vacuum's one of them. I don't think it should be one of them. This move is disgusting. It lasts so long, too. Like, look at that. Ganondorf is just, he can't do anything. He literally can't do anything. He's just sitting there. Or no, he's not sitting there. He's just struggling. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there. Oh wow, I missed. Okay. That's just me being bad. Oh, for a second I thought he was gonna allow me to just charge it. <laughs> Damn it. I don't know how that worked, because he's at 171. I guess rage, yeah, that makes sense. I forgot rage is a thing. Not in melee. <laughs> Does that hit? Okay, it does hit ledge, I think. At least I think so. How did he dodge that? He's just stuck. Oh, what? I have to just like time it a bit better, but yeah. Also, Pyro's forward smash, kind of disgusting. The power of the Aegis. That's all it takes. Like, honestly, I think Pyramithra might be top 10. Not gonna lie. Then again, all DLC are pretty much top 10. I think the only one that's not top 10 is like Byleth, and then maybe a few others, but then again I don't know because I didn't buy Steve, I didn't buy Sephiroth, and I didn't buy Min Min. Um, maybe I'll buy it one day in the future, but like, one day maybe when I'm able to play Locals again, 
whenever that day will be. But uh, yeah. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, thank you guys for sticking with me. Almost got 800 subscribers, so I appreciate that. Even though I haven't posted anything in six months, um, hopefully I'll be able to post here and there like I am right now. But um, if I don't, um, just know that I'm not dead. And uh, or maybe I am. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> anything can happen but um yeah hopefully i'll be able to do a let's play of no more heroes 3 or the world's with you neo either way see you in the next video see ya